I came across this article yesterday. And reading it for podcast listeners is from Bitcoinist. It says, Ethereum Insider Drops Bombshell. ETH Founders Fraud Bigger Than FTX Fraud. Eric, what's your take on this article? Yeah, so I did see this. It's look, I don't I'm not going to speculate on what the, the what they actually have information on. If you read the article, you'll see that none of that's actually come out. What I'll say is this, though, and I think this is really important to understand for those that are trying to learn about the crypto space in general. FTX was a centralized company. And when I say centralized, it's just like any other company, they had, they had founders, they had a CEO, they had employees, they were building this exchange in a fraudulent way. That's FTX. Ethereum started off as more, it started off as somewhat centralized, where it was a smaller group of people building out the initial phase of this blockchain. And over time, has grown to become very decentralized. Ethereum is not a company, it's a network. With that said, there's many different people that are not only developing on top of Ethereum, but also validating the blockchain all around the globe, hundreds of thousands of validators actually. And with that said, it's, I, I can't comment necessarily on what happened at the beginning of Ethereum, if this, if that's what this is person's referring to, obviously. But what I do know is this today, the network itself is, it, it doesn't look anything like a company. It's independent people that are building on it and using it all around the world. More importantly, building on it and validating that network. So I guess we'll see what comes out of this. I appreciate you, you know, bringing it to, to my attention, but I, I think that's a key thing to differentiate between FTX versus a blockchain.